Ever wonder how to pin a note to the top of an Evernote notebook for fast referencing of that particular note when you jump around between different notebooks? Stick around and I'll show you just how to do that within Evernote. But first, welcome to Productivity in Real Life, where we showcase all your favorite productivity and note-taking applications like Evernote, Notion, Rome, Bear, Apple Notes, and so many more. Not only are we going to touch on the basics of all these apps, but we'll dive deeper into using each of them effectively to make you as productive as possible. Today, we're talking Evernote. So perhaps you've been using a different note-taking type of application, something that allows you to favorite or perhaps pin notes to the top of your notebook or notes collection. Google Keep does just that and it does it quite well. So a little pin icon and we're pinning notes to the top of our section. And just like that, we've unpinned the notes. Um, it, it works brilliantly, like I said, but Evernote, unfortunately, does not have such a simplistic feature. Uh, we can customize our toolbar up here for notes and uh, delete them, set reminders, share them, review different information. But there's no way to pin a note to the top of our notebook. So if we jump around here into my photography notebook, you know, the notes are all over the place. And if we jump back to productivity in real life notebook, we've got our notes in here. And technically, they would be all over the place as well, based on our sorting system up here. But what I've gone and done is taken a note that is used every time I produce a video in this channel, which is just our tag on general information that goes on the bottom of our descriptions. And I have actually favorited this note. Well, but if we go and create a new note, there's a new note in productivity IRL notebook. you'll see my channel description note stayed pinned to the top and this new note went down one under my pinned note. So back to how we do this. We cheat the system in Evernote. Uh, how we do that is by viewing your notes sorted with the created date and a reverse sort order. And this is how I run all of my notebooks anyway. It just seems natural to me to run notes based on the created date. Sometime in my uh, inbox notebook, I will use the updated notes, but I do have shortcuts in here. Activity today, that show me what's been done today. So that's why I generally don't worry about the last updated uh, view or sort order here in in a notebook I generally run by created and again reverse sort order puts the newest notes at the top just like you see here except for my pinned note so what we do is that's the basics of the setup for your notebook what we now have to do is cheat the created date for our note so what we want to do is come over here have this show the created date and then simply change it. You can see here I've got it set to 523 of 2021. So this note will actually stay pinned here no matter how many new notes I add in this notebook. This note will stay pinned to the top until this date and then it will fall back into, into place uh, based on notes older than 523 of 2021. Of course, you could always extend this to something far in the future. You need to set the dates relevant, of course, to what, uh, what makes sense. If you want to always stay at the top, set it a long way in advance. Set it well beyond your life expectancy, if you wish. You can also set other notes to fall in line. So you're not limited to just pinning one simple note up there and using the date that you've created the note, you can prioritize. So if I want to put this 
screenshot from Notion, at the very top, I can go 2031. And then this will be my pinned order. If I go 2029, it will pin underneath my description. And now I've got two notes that are pinned at the top. just put that back into its relevant positioning. Now, this isn't the nicest way of doing this, but it works. Uh, I say it's not the nicest way of doing it because it is messing with note metadata, which is, to me, it's important generally in having a created date. So what I could do perhaps is just start my note, and I do a lot of a lot of notes where I do need to concern myself with dates is I will put in um, the created date into the title. Just like that. Um, this was the new note that I created just a few minutes ago, 2020-0704. And I will deal with notes like that, so then I could always sort on titles. Where did those go? down in here. But again, I like my created date sorting. It lets me be flexible with the titles and lets me pin notes accordingly. But like I say, messing with the metadata is not the cleanest way to deal with it's, it's not the cleanest way to pin your notes. It's the only way to pin notes at the moment. Um, of course, using the title just like so. We can also do that by sorting with the title. And here's our notes here. Now, this left bracket is messing with my sort order as opposed to the zeros in the titles here. But I think you get the idea. It is sorting by title, and you can create a sort order just like so, based on the characters you start the note title with. We'll touch base on that as well because that's also quite handy. Uh, I use it for writing um, and creating chapters in, in books and reports. But for the most part, I stick with the created date on a reverse sort order, and I will put a note created into the future to pin a note. Now another way to pin notes is to use your shortcuts bar over on the left hand panel here, just like I've done. Uh, let me find an example for you. Project tasks, fitness challenge. Here's one that actually falls into a whole lot of different uh, categorizations and sorting based on the title. So when I view this notebook and sort by title, things fall into place. In this case, I've just got one note bookmarked or favorited in the shortcut section, 401 Fitness Challenges. It's in here as a shortcut. So when I'm looking for my fitness challenge note, instead of finding my fitness notebook and looking for it in there and pinning it um, with the created date, I just have it over here under Project Tasks. 401 Fitness Challenge, one click brings me right to that. An alternative is a dashboard. Here's my dashboard here currently. A dashboard note is a great way to keep a favorite, keep all of your favorite and commonly used notes pinned, or even groups of notes pinned for quick access as well. Basically, two clicks. One here on the shortcuts to get me to the dashboard, and let's just pick something here. Health. Two clicks. 
gets me to my important health notes. It will get me to my health records. That would be three clicks. Gets me to all my current doctor items, my dentist reports, optometrist, optometrist history, my blood pressure logs. Uh, two to three clicks gets me to all of these important notes. But stay tuned. We'll cover off building dashboards and actually going through and tweaking your shortcuts bar in a future episode of Productivity in Real Life and our Working with Evernote series. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and of course, share this video if you found it useful.